Cam, congrats on the win. Uh, how did it feel to come away with this win uh, after a string of games this year where you guys have had a tough time in the fourth quarter to finally be able to execute and come away with a, a win in the last uh, in crunch time? Well, I'd rather have, I said it in the locker room, <clears throat> I'd rather have a ugly win rather than a pretty loss, if that makes sense. I don't know if that even exists, but, you know, we didn't play our best game offensively, but, you know, when we needed it, we got the job done, and that's all that counts. Next question, Joe Cayado, followed by Chris Ryan. Hey, Cam, to, to follow up on what Ben was saying, um, you know, a lot of games this season, um, the close games, you guys haven't been able to come out on top. To come out on top, how much confidence do you guys feel to come out in a close game like this with a game winner at the end? Well, we, we just got to gotta stack them together, and uh, that's what it pretty much comes down to and finding ways to win football games. It's better to find ways to win in situational football and got to have in situations rather than, you know, just playing the game just to play the game. And uh, Coach coach does a great job with, with harping on that throughout the week, as well as Josh and, you know, uh, all the position coaches. So, you know, for it to come into fruition, for us to come out on top is great. Quick follow-up. The, the game James White had in, in that fourth and two, can you just talk about James White and what he brought to your offense today? Yeah. Um, he got the uh, Rex Burkhead steez. You know, usually, you know, that's Rex's responsibility and job. But, you know, Jay White, you know, took the job and responsibility and, and, and kept the flame going in that room. And I know Rex is somewhere smiling. Uh, next question, Chris Ryan, followed by Dan Roach. Hey, Cam, uh, congrats on the win. Obviously, um, you know, you, got, you guys made the plays you needed to, to to win the game. But your thoughts on you know, the offensive execution as a whole, was it the, the Cardinals giving you looks that you weren't expecting? What were your takeaways? So whether you're running the football, passing the football, obviously, you know, they made it difficult for you guys. It just came down to in-game adjustments. Um, I'm pretty sure you, they had some things that come up. And, you know, with us getting the, the report of some guys not being able to play, you know, kind of threw a loop in, in things early on, but, you know, that's what it comes down to, in-game adjustments, and for us to execute those to the best of our ability. Thanks. Next question, Dan Roach, followed by Michael Hurley. Hi, Cam. Uh, how nice was it to get a, another big contribution from the kicker guy? Um, and then also, uh, despite the fact that you guys maybe struggled on offense, for you to come up with that big play on third and 13, could you go over that play uh, and what, what – kind of hit you took from Simmons looked like he popped you pretty good it looked like you were down and out a little bit there uh for, for a bit I told kicker guy I said he's putting on a performance that's going to put him on Santa Claus Christmas list and I'm expecting him to stay on on Santa's good list here moving forward um from the from Boogie's household so he can be expecting something from there as far as the last play um the play was called, and we just wanted to execute it to the best of our abilities. And um, you know, the hit on a, on a, on, you know, that's just protecting myself at all times. And uh, fortunately for us, you know, it got us an additional 15 yards. Our right, next question, Michael Hurley, followed by Levin Reed. Hey Kim, uh, the interception on the pass to Demir. Would you say that was a uh, wrong decision, or just a, a one that got away from you? And uh, your run, I noticed, was at the same area of the field. Was, was making up for that on your mind as you were making it toward the first down marker? It's a loaded question. But yeah, it was just a bad throw. You know, uh, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't it doesn't really matter what I felt on that play. It's just a matter of what happened, and, and, and that's what it comes down to. So for me, you know, I can't jeopardize this team and, and, and put the ball up for grabs, so to speak. Um, and I just got to give Demir a better ball to, so he can compete and, and contest it. Uh, and as far as the run, you know, I, that, I wasn't thinking about the previous pass on that play. Uh, next question, Levin Reed, followed by Ian Steele. Kim, as you're watching it, it's the end of 
the first half. How big and how much energy did you guys go in watching the defense get that goal line stand and stop them um, as you guys were going into the half? Yeah, that was big. That was extremely big. And, and for us to have a play with complimentary football, you know, and, and playing it later on in the season, which we're going to need more of here moving forward. Offensively, you know, we didn't have our best game, but the defense kind of picked up the slack as well as the special teams, having some big returns from uh, Gun Show and uh, Kreef. And, you know, those guys really took heed to coaching this past week. And, you know, we're just going to need you know, more complimentary football wins here moving forward as we get – and to the, the, the gotta have it win situations of, of, of this season. Looks like the last question will be Ian Steele. Thanks, Stacey. Cam, congrats on the win. Um, on that, th that run at, on the last drive uh, out of bounds in the penalty, we've talked to you know, other guys on the roster about that play today, and they said they wanted to, you know, rally around you, come to your defense. And I think a direct quote from James White is that no one's going to put a cheap shot on our quarterback. When you hear that from your teammates and see that out there, what does that mean to you? Yeah, it means a lot. It means a lot. Um, obviously, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see, you know, all the ruckus and, you know, kind of take place early on, being that, you know, I was just trying to get back on the field and know what the – didn't know what was going on, to be honest with you. But I was in my right mind, so I don't want you guys to say, you know, he didn't know whatever. I was not concussed. I was just trying to alleviate myself from that situation. And the time when I was down, you know, to see, you know, the guys come to your, you know, protection, you know, it means a lot. It means a lot. And, you know, just for them, for them to show that they all, they, I'm pretty sure they know I'll do the same thing for them. And as we keep going here, moving forward, we're going to need a lot of hands on deck with, with, with wins, no matter how it may come on the run game, passing game, defense, special teams. You know, we just need to win. Thanks, Cam. Thank you, Cam. Thanks, everyone. Compete for 60 minutes and you know, made enough plays at the critical times in the game to you know, to win. So, you know, leadership we've gotten from captains and some of the other veteran players here in the last few weeks has been awesome. And uh, you know, I think that's really, you know, helped bring, bring some other players along to prepare better and, you know, ultimately uh, perform uh, a little more consistently. So, so you know, good. Good way to wrap up the Thanksgiving weekend, and, um, and we got you know two two big games in LA next week. Uh, but try to enjoy this one for a little while um, before we you know move on to the Chargers. We'll open up for questions. Uh, Alan Siegel, followed by Dan Roach. Thanks, Stacy. Now, uh, in the first part of the game, there seemed to be some problems with edge containment, whether on a swing pass or, or runs. It definitely got better as the half went on and as the game went on. Was that a matter of adjustment, or was it a matter of maybe just adjusting to the quickness and the speed 